Hi, this is Dave from ClearPath Robotics, and today we're gonna to go through unboxing and getting started with your Jackal robot. Inside the box, you'll find a user manual. You'll also find a PS4 controller, and a battery charger. You also have your Jackal robot. Now, the first thing you have to do is connect the battery to your Jackal. So we'll flip, flip the switch down here, or the lever, and open it up. Inside, inside you'll find your battery. Put that in and plug in the black and red ends into the connector right beside it. Close it up and lock it down. On the back here, you'll press the power button. So these lights, you have your power button with a power light. If this light's flashing, it means your Jackal's um, just about shut down. You have your battery light, which when flashing green, means your battery is slightly dead. If it's flashing red, it means it's really dead. You have your Wi-Fi light. Since it's new at your facility, it won't be connecting to Wi-Fi, so this should be off but we'll go through how to connect to that uh, in a later video. Here is your connection to ROS, so the actual communication between the Jackal MCU and the computer that's running inside it. So when that light is connected, that means that should all work. And here is your motor power light. So as long as this is on, if the computer commands the Jackal to drive, it will. But if you hit this button and that light's off, then your robot won't be able to drive. The next, to be able to drive this over to your desk to start working with it, we're going to take our PlayStation controller and just hit the PS button. You'll see the light starts to flash, and when it goes solid, um, that means it's connected to the robot. To drive the robot around, you basically have slow speed, which is L1. So holding down that will drive it about 0.4 meters per second unless you change it. And the R1 button will drive it much faster. So holding down L1, you can use the left joystick to drive it forwards and backwards or pushing side to side. You can turn it. Be very, very careful when driving around your robot on a table because uh, it can easily drive off. So if you are doing any work with it, I recommend you hit the M button to actually disable the motors, which will make it so it can't drive anymore. Um, in this case, this is a standard plain jackal out of the box. Uh, if you had any sort of customization uh, or integration and setup of payloads from our integrators, your robot might come out a little bit different. Uh, it might start up differently or come in uh, different packaging. If that's the case, look for the custom, uh, the customization manual that will come with your platform, which is specific to your robot and any sort of um, specialties that come with it. Thanks for watching.